Hey, what's up, guys? It's Piznik64. It's like one in the morning here, but I don't care. I'm about to do my Survivor Series preview. I, I know I haven't really done a preview since WrestleMania. See, I don't make wrestling reviews at all. Oh, okay. But, but yeah, I'm about to get my uh, Survivor Series. I don't know. Looks kind of disappointing. I mean, it should be a great baby. Like, to be honest, I, th I think it should be better than Money in the Bank if you look at the card. Uh, it, it, but I know it's not going to be that good. I'm excited for, I mean, The Rock and possibly The Undertaker. A lot of people keep saying Undertaker, but, you know, I keep waiting. You know, I'm still waiting for a big boy to come back. Alright, so the show, or Dolph Ziggler's in this twice, I'm pretty sure. Again, so they're probably gonna start off with probably the U.S. title because uh, yeah, you're gonna have to save Dolph Ziggler for the uh, Team Morton versus Team Barrett. Um, they're probably gonna start off with this between John Cena and um, Dolph Ziggler. Why did I just say John Cena? Why would he fight for the U.S. title? John Morrison. Dolph Ziggler should be a good opener. You know these guys are pretty talented. You, you, you guys already know about John Morrison how talented he is, but WWE continues to bury him, which I really don't know why. He should have been world title champion, but no, John Cena wants to take all the spotlight. But I'll get to the world championship. Or WWE, t I'm botching everything tonight. This is just a botching night. Alright, so uh, the winner of this match should be Ziggler because it would make more sense because why would you um, give John Morrison a title when there hasn't even been built up? In fact, there hasn't even been any build up to any uh, this at all. Like, it, you know, Dolph Ziggler's had the title for a while, but he's feuding with like 50 people at once, so it's like, who the fuck? Like, how is he going to establish himself as a star if he's like making random feuds with no build? It's like. Does it make sense? No makes sense at all. I, I don't get WWE. WWE's been confusing. Raw you know, Raw Raw's just been ridiculous. But SmackDown's been been pretty easy to follow. Like SmackDown, I can understand everything. Even though I don't watch SmackDown as much, because usually Friday nights I'm doing something. You know. You know, I might watch it on uh, YouTube sometime, but Next match we had, we were probably going to have is. This is a weird card. Divas match? Maybe? I'm trying to think what would be the order here. Uh, okay, I know Cena Rock would be main event. And then the. Divas match would have to be between. Okay. So the next match. Would probably be. Hmm. I'm just gonna make a wild guess. The next match would because of Dolph Ziggler. You know how they booked it. It's probably gonna be Team Orton versus Team Barrett. Probably the second match, which would be weird. But for some reason, I feel like that's gonna be the second match. There's plenty of talent in here. But you know Randy Orton doesn't like to put people over unless he absolutely has to. But if it's up to him, which 80% of the time it is, um, it'll go to um, Team Orton here. There's plenty of talent um, here. Plenty. Of, there's going to be a lot of high flying. There's not a whole lot of big guys. The only big guys really are Barrett and Sheamus. I mean, everyone else is not really that big. So there's going to be a lot of speed. There's a lot of speed on here. Is Mason Ryan on? No, Mason Ryan's not on there. On Team Orton, I don't think. I can't remember who's on Team Orton exactly, but I'm pretty sure Seamus is the only big guy. If not, I, you know, I'll double check, but you know. So this could be a good match. This should probably be the sleeping match. Um, here. Yeah, this would be a good match. So the first two matches are going to be good. 
Next match was most likely going to be Mark Henry versus Big Show. Now, they had a great match of vengeance. You know, I'm not one of those people who are like, Oh my god, they're 400 pounds, they're big, slow, it's not going to be a good match. I, I, I love big man matches. I'm always looking forward to big man matches. I think they're, in some, in some cases, even better than cruiserweight matches or heavyweight matches. I'm in the big man match because I'm a big guy myself. If you guys, you know, haven't seen my videos or seen me on Facebook, I'm not a small guy, so I'm, you know, I kind of have more support for bigger guys because I'm a bigger guy myself. You know, that Vengeance match was pro their best match, you know, so far. Probably Mark Henry's best match this year. Probably Big Show's best match this year. I gave it four stars. I mean, that's very rare for a big man match for give for me to give a big man match four stars unless it it had a lot you know the sp you know they had a lot of great spots and obviously the freaking desk for er, not that well holy fuck the uh, ring there we go it's one in the morning so yeah can't think right now right, but this match Mark Henry's gonna go over we already know this. And they're probably going to continue up until TLC. Mark Henry will win again. Most likely. I don't know. This whole Daniel Bryan thing. I'm not sure if they're going to like lean towards Daniel Bryan. Or are they going to go back to Kane like they should. I mean, once this feud's over. This feud might end as Series. I don't know. But Mark Henry's going to go over here. That's just... Alright, next match would probably be CM Punk and Del Rio. This should be a five star match. Like like what I mean by that is this match has the potential to be a five star match. And I don't get why they don't I get you know, WWE should give these these two athletes about forty minutes. I think this should be the second longest match. Now give the rock and Cena like an hour or something, I don't care. But the last hour or hour and a half should easily be these two matches. Oh fuck, I forgot about Divas match right after. But give give that like five minutes. But this match better be I will freaking oh my god, I'm gonna be so pissed. These are my two favorite wrestlers in Raw right now. And I don't care who wins. Probably Del Rio is going to go over this one. Just because, you know... It would make more sense. I mean... You can't just, like, switch titles all the time, which is raw. That's been part of the problem for all. They keep switching titles, so you never really have that, like... Have that strong champion. Makes it, All your champions, like, ever since the summer, just been weak. You'd be switching champions back and forth. Give Del Rio a good title ring. He's good on the mic. He's a great wrestler. And CM Punk, good on the mic, great wrestler. So this should be a great match. But if this match is disappointing, I mean... you give the, If this was the main event at WrestleMania, you gave him an hour. This will easily be a five-star classic. I don't know why... You know, WWE has a shit on these two. I mean... Yeah, it's all about The Rock, but give this match... This should be the match of the night. You know, I'll explain why in the Cena match. But come on, give this a good match. If this match disappoints me, I swear to God, I'll probably... Probably not watch Raw for a month. Unless I hear about Undertaker returning, and then, you know... Next match will be the Divas match. Oh, God. As long as Beth Phoenix wins, I don't care. Alright, um, main event. Cena, Rock, Awesome Truth. Now, realistically, Art, Awesome, or, er, Teams, um, Rock, Rock, Cena, Team WrestleMania, I'm gonna call him, is gonna win this. Realistically, like we all know, but Awesome Truth really should win this one because they've been buried after buried after buried, and not only that, that will help Awesome Truth establish itself as a legitimate tag team. 
Hey, adds more. Oh shit! Adds more to the feud between Rock and Cena at WrestleMania. Now, don't you guys want to have a great match at WrestleMania? And if you have these guys bury or bury awesome truth, then that like destroys the build. You know, in the promo they were talking shit on each other. I mean, that would defeat the purpose if you have Team Cena win. Because then, then what's Cena going to do? And The Rock going to do? Rock's going to leave again. And it's just like, but if you have them lose, think about it. They could be like, Rock could be like, you know, probably via satellite. I don't think he's permanently back. But they could be like, John Cena. The reason why we lost uh, Summer Slam Survivor Series is because you it's all your fault, it's all your fault. And this and think about it, John Cena could turn heel because obviously the Rock has a bigger fan base than Cena. Obviously the Rock's more over than Cena. So why would you turn Rock heel in this situation? And Rock cuts babyface promos. So realistically or not realistically, ideally you can either this could either, if Awesome Truth wins, could either turn John Cena heel, which... L let me tell you one reason, and one reason why The Rock and John Cena became a tag team instead of Team Rock versus Team Cena. In my opinion, this is why. Because it's PG, and nobody wants to have John Cena heel. I mean, John Cena has to be heel. So that's probably why Team Cena is going to win because they don't want to turn John Cena heel, which even though he has to at one point because The Rock's not going to turn heel. He's not going to turn heel. You have to do it, WWE, eventually if you're going to make this a good feud. But so Rock or Cena could turn heel. Builds um, kind of the same thing, these two energy build the feud and establish awesome truth as the legitimate tag team. But I do believe Team WrestleMania is going to win. hate to say it. But Will this pay-per-view be good? I hope so. I mean, it should be better than Money in the Bank with, you know, minus the Divas match. I mean, you have, like, potential to have, like, great matches here. You have... Two matches could easily hit four stars. Easily. Which is the main event. Even the opener for the title could easily be a, like a three and a half, three, three, four star. Even a four star opener. I mean, what the fuck? I hope, you know. I'm going to rate WrestleMania, or rate Survivor Series like a WrestleMania, because this is kind of like a mini WrestleMania card. You know, this feels like, it feels good, like a good WrestleMania card. Maybe not so much a Divas match. Very everything else would seem like a great, maybe not a great WrestleMania, but you know a normal decent WrestleMania card. I mean, come on. But that's just it for me. Um, I will put a couple. Um, videos probably on each corner for my um, I don't know I'm just going to put a couple videos down there go check them out I'm going to put one on each side here but anyway that's it for me Pisnik out peace